Hare Krishna. Okay, let's get started with our prayers. Very nice to have all of you here on the call. Hare Krishna, Mataji. Mataji, tomorrow is moral story. Yes, Ryan, tomorrow is moral story. Today also we will see stories only through Lord Krishna's various pastimes. Okay? That's the quality to Krishna. But it also talks about stories. Don't you hear them? Yeah, I hear them. Ah, yesterday also Mataji narrated pastimes, right? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So we'll okay, we'll continue. Let's start with our prayers. Om one day, hum Nama Om Vishnu Sharing who wants to start first? Jadurani, go ahead. Krishna is on my screen. I see Krishna. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna. so sweet uh, Jadurani. that was very sweet let's hear from my Thilina Amma Amma Ryan Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare very nice. I like the tune too. Ryan, you're next. Can you Mother, I did the, um, Mother, I did that by accident, Mataji. That's okay, Ryan. That's totally fine. I understand. But you have to I have to see you, Ryan. Where are you? I can't see you. I, my my screen is not working. There's a problem with the laptop. Oh, that's so sad. I forgot I forgot to ask my mom to 
or work make it work yesterday. That's okay, Kanye. You can chant. It's okay. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Very nice. That was wonderful, Ryan. I thought I heard you play the Mridanga too. Very nice. I did. Yeah. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama. Rama, Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, 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 Hare Hare. Thank you so much. That was so beautiful, Tushita. Wonderful. All of you are chanting so nicely. Go ahead, Subhadra. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna Mataji. Thank you so much, Subhadra and Giridari. That was wonderful. Krishna, please go ahead. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. <coughs> Thank you so much, Krishna. That's very nice. Raghav! Raghav is finally back. It's been so long. Hare Krishna! Hare Krishna! Krishna! Hare Krishna! Thank you so much, Raga. I couldn't hear the last Hare Hare, and in between it was going in and out, but for the most part, we heard you. That was wonderful. I hope you had a good trip. Yes, yes, yes okay. Yeah. Hare Bol. So nice to see you. There we have Bala Vrinda. Hare Krishna, Bala Vrinda. Oh, Maharaj, yeah. yeah, I also went to India, but I went for one month and he went for <laughs> one month. Yes. <laughs> Again, same problem like Raga, but I could hear for the most part. You want to try once more? Okay. Come to my Amma's spot. Yeah. Mama, I want to. No, no. Okay. You can sit beside her. That's fine. No, no. <laughs> no, no. Are Very good. Thank you so much, Palavrinda. It was good for the most part. That was very good. Palavid, 
Hare Krishna. I didn't realize you both went to India at the same time. That is, yeah. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Thank you, Mataji. Very nice. That was a different tune, Palve. Thank you so much for that. Hare Krishna, Madhav. What are you? Go ahead. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama. Lama Lama Hare Hare. Thank you, Mataji. Thank you so much, Madhav. That was very sweet. Anish, are you there? Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Thank you so much, Anish. Hare Krishna, that was beautiful. Very good. Every, I think everyone got a chance. So now we will move on to the 12th quality of Krishna. So we'll try to cover as many pastimes as possible here. Uh, and then if we cannot, we will stop. Okay. So there are quite a few. So this talks about how Krishna is highly intelligent. Yesterday, what did you learn? Can you tell me? Anybody? Mati, I forgot it because I went to school today. Okay. It was highly something. Highly, Krishna was highly learned. Krishna is highly learned. He's in the Guru. He was in the Guru. Oh, yes, and this talk. He is can a, talk very goodly, and he can, he can he can he can, he can, he can, he can talk in, in different languages. Yes, he's very fluent. He can speak in multiple languages. He's got very pleasing speech. And he went to Guru. Oh, yes, he went to Gurukul. Yes, he's highly intelligent. He doesn't have to go to even Gurukul. He doesn't have to learn, but he knows everything. But he wanted to... Because he's the supreme personality of Godhead. Yes, and he wants... When he's here, he wants to teach us that if we want to learn, we have to learn under a Guru. So, let's see what some of the qualities are, okay? So, when is a person called very intelligent? They are called very intelligent if they have very sharp memory and they have very fine discretion. That means they know how to make good decisions, okay? So, as far as Krishna's memory is concerned, let us see. How many days was he in Sandipani Muni school? Hmm? 64 days! 64 days! Yeah, in just a very, 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 very short time, just over 60 days, he was able to finish everything. We are in school for so many years. But Krishna... Like, like me, Mataji, I used to be in school lots... I'm in school like for lots of months. Yeah, yeah. You are in school for lots of months, but you have to study for lots of months. Mataji, all very Mataji, I've yes. already been in school for 100 or 101 days. Oh my. I'm in school of 107 days. Yeah, so yeah, all of you have been in school, but that's not enough, right? We need to study for at least until we are 25. You know, 2025, 20, because we go to school. Good. Then oh my god college. <laughs> so but krishna he went to school he went to the school of sandipani muni okay in avantipur and there he was so sharp he had such a sharp memory that if that good teacher teaches him once he immediately becomes perfect in that subject okay but why did he go to sandipani muni's ashram why did he go to, to learn to learn he didn't go to learn. He went to show us that doesn't matter how smart you are, how brilliant you are. We all have to go and study. We have to go to the higher authority. We have to go to the guru and study. Okay. 
So we have to accept a spiritual master. All of your parents mostly would have spiritual masters, right? Same way, even we. Father ji, my mom's is um Jayabadaka Swami Maharaj. I know, Brinda. Father ji, is that yours? Yes, yes. He's my good oh. man. Ooh. Okay. Yes. Oh, yes, Palvet. I only know this pastime because uh, because I was doing like um Matiji, I know the, also, I, I also know, know this pastime. pastime. Matiji, I also I know, know this pastime. Okay, you all know this pastime. So let us make it very short. We are not talking about we're talking about how Krishna's intelligence huh, helped him make good decisions every single time okay so we know the past time what is the past time that jarasandha used to come and oh, Mataji, i also know that i also know that i thought it in the comic book of krishna <laughs> yes very good so jarasandha who is jarasandha then he's just... an evil king ah how is he related to krishna um he was trying to kill him so many ways, but he was but Krishna only killed his soldiers seventeen times and, oh. and because Krishna is very strong and intelligent to <laughs> shooting arrows. Okay, I am asking you the question how is Jarasandha related to Krishna? Does beautiful Balavrinda Grandfather? Know? What Mataji? How is Jarasandha related to Krishna? I couldn't hear you, Madhuji, because there was a background noise. I'm asking, how is Jarasandha related to Krishna? Can you hear me now? Oh, yeah. Oh my God. Yes. Madhuji, Rukmini, Rukmini's brother. You? No. Rukmini's brother. No, no, no. I can hear you, Vrinda. Yes, no. That's not the answer. Madhuji. Yes, Giridari. Madhuji, because because I uh, because um. Go on on the past then. Hmm. Okay. No. Um. Uh, uh, Jarasandha so, was 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 Kamsa's wife. No. <laughs> no. Okay. Somebody tell me, please. Madhuji. Madhuji. Ah, uh, Jarasandha was very that. close. What was the uh, uh, uh wait, 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 wait. Uh, of, of Kamsa? Oh, very good. Yes. Good yes. Okay. So who was Jarasandha? He is the father-in-law um, of Kamsa. How is Krishna related to Kamsa? He is. He is an uncle of Kamsa. Krishna is Krishna is Kamsa's nephew. Kamsa is his uncle. Okay, and so Jarasandha's yes. two daughters were married to Kamsa. Okay, so because of that, Jarasandha was so angry that Krishna killed Kamsa, right? So he attacked Mathura 17 times. And Krishna, each time he fought Jarasandha, but he never killed him. Why? Huh? You all know the coming. Why, Matri? Okay. Because he because he he came to fight him again and again and again. Oh, Nila, Krishna likes to fight him again and again. Okay, one answer. Madhav, you tell me. Madhavji. Ah yes, Giridhari. After Madhav, then Giridhari. Madhav, you want to answer? Amma. What happened? Okay. He's calling. Oh, sorry, Madhav. Can you want to say something? Mm. Say, Madhav. Okay, just say that. Unmute and say. What do you want to say? No. Uh. No. Why? Then... Okay, that's okay. Then Giri Dari. That's fine, Madhav. Okay. So why Krishna <laughs> fought with Jarasandha seventeen times? Giri Dari, go ahead. Madhav, because he wanted. Bhima, like in the Pandava story, when it's like a oh, lot of years, he wanted Bhima, Bhima uh, to kill uh, Jarasandha, which is uh, two th thighs. Oh, yeah. But main reason. Okay, so why Krishna's intelligence is really uh, helpful here is because 
Krishna made sure that he was getting rid of all the evil in the world, right? And there were so many bad demoniac people. Every time when Jarasandha came, he came with a huge army. And that huge army would have a lot of evil people. So Krishna was, uh, Krishna would kill all of them and he would leave Jarasandha so that he can bring more evil people and Krishna can finish those people also. Okay. So every time Jarasandha will bring them, Krishna is ridding the, uh, is getting rid of all the bad people from this earth. Okay. So like that, Jarasandha on the 18th time when Jarasandha was going to attack, there was also Kalayavana who was right there. He came to attack and capture the city of Mathura. Okay. So that time, what did Krishna do? Krishna ran away from the battlefield. And so Krishna was called as, uh, Jarasandha called him, you are the rancher, you are running away from the battlefield, you are a coward. Okay. And so Jarasandha called him all those names, but still Krishna ran. Why did Krishna run? Oh, here he used his power of discretion. Yes, why did Krishna run? You tell me. Um, because... I forgot. Why did Krishna run from the battlefield? Krishna defeated him so many times. I don't know. Mataji? Yes, Mataji. There is another reason also, right? Ki, uh, there were some Brahmanas at... Uh, he left some Brahmanas at his home, Jarasandha, who were praying to Krishna that, uh, please save us. And uh, they were praying for Jarasandha to win, something like that. And... Uh, uh, oh. That's why Krishna did not uh, kill Jarasandha, that Brahmanas uh, will be killed if uh, Jarasandha is killed in the battle, something like that. Oh, or, thank you so much for sharing that, Mataji. I, I am not sure. I am just confirming from you. <laughs> no, I did not know that past time. What I have known is that it was because Kalayavana was there, right? Kalayavana, is, uh, he is an untouchable. He is not uh, a Kshatriya. So because of uh, the basic rules that we have in the old Vedic system, Kshatriya should not even touch. So you cannot kill the untouchable people directly. And because of that, Krishna, he used his discretion. He thought, what should I do? I don't want to kill this Kala Yavana. So if I cannot kill and he is going to attack the city of Mathura, I have to do something, right? So what does Krishna do? He runs because he knows there's in the cave, there is an old man who is sleeping. His name is Muchakunda. So Krishna runs into the cave and <clears throat> he hides in the cave. Okay. So Kaleyamana, he comes in and he thinks, oh, Krishna is hiding from me. He's running away from me. And so he sees that there's someone lying down and he just kicks the person who is lying down. And what happens immediately? Muchakunda was the one who was lying down. He woke up. He opened his eyes. And the moment he opened his eyes, what happened, Palvid? Fire shot from his eyes. Shot fire. Yeah. And Kaleyavana was burnt. Okay. To ashes. That was it. So that was how brilliant, how intelligent Krishna was. He thought that I, it is wise if I lead this untouchable king to the cave. So, Muchakunda will be burning him and I will be able to give darshan to Muchakunda. So, this is the pastime that I know of. Palvit's mother also shared another pastime. Okay, then. So, now we look at the story of Jayadrata. Do you know who Jayadrata is? Anybody? Yes, Giridari knows. Madhav knows. Yeah, everyone, uh, like some of us know because we read the Mahabharat and the Bhag Bhagavad Gita. Very good. Okay, some. No, everyone, everyone. Yeah. Everyone knows. Okay. Mataji, I know what Mahabharat is. It's a type of movie of Krishna in there. I watched it so many times. Evarsh also knows. Ryan knows. Okay. <laughs> you watched it. Mahabharat is Itihas. And I, wa and I used to. And I used to watch it and I watched all of the views of Balavrinda knows. Balavrinda, 
also knows. Yeah, Raghav. And Mataji, 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 there are lots of videos of Mahabharat. Okay, so now we are going to ask. Like Raghav. the one that, and the one like the a group of that just lied to to the stage. Is is called Durvas, and he, he he lied to him that he will to give some half of the property to him okay, and he okay. has a property for a cow okay let us not deviate from the story thank you so much ryan raghav is going to tell us who is jayadratha is that okay sister's husband very good that's right jayadratha was he's a king of sindhu desha he is he was married to Duryodhana sister, Dushala. Okay, but he wanted to get married to Draupadi. He want he always desired for her. So one time, what happened? He was on the way to Kamyavan, and there he saw Draupadi. And so he told Draupadi, "Okay, come with me. Why are you staying?" That time she was in the forest. Okay, they were in exile. and so draupadi doesn't have the comforts of being in a you know palace so he tried to lure her he tried to ask her again and again repeatedly okay if she would come and he can take her and he she, she, he could make her his queen but uh, draupadi did not agree so what did he do he just captured her and pushed her in his chariot and put her in his chariot and he started riding away at that time dhaunya muni he was the one who was helping all the pandavas he was instructing the pandavas at that time okay and he followed jayadratha he stopped he tried to stop him and he told him that this is inappropriate you should not do this take back you know give back draupadi and uh, jaras sorry jayadratha did not hear and he was just driving away so immediately dhaunya muni he informed yudhishthir maharaj and the pandavas attacked the soldiers of jayadratha they got hold of jayadratha bhima started beating him up almost till he died and then they forced him to be a slave of king yudhishthir maharaj but of course yudhishthir maharaj is very very magnanimous so so what did he do he ordered that okay no the, uh, he is our brother in law we have to release him okay so queen uh, draupadi also was all right and she agreed to that now why did we talk about this past time because jayadratha also played a big role in the mahabharata war in the war that happened in kurukshetra okay so jayadratha after this he was feeling so angry because he was insulted and he went he did big penance and when he comes to the battlefield he is the one who is able to uh stop the pandavas from entering the uh, chakravyu the rings right that they had in the battlefield the formation their army formation okay so what is because of that arjuna loses his son in battle okay so after this arjuna he takes a vow that he is going to kill jayadratha now jayadratha wants to run away and he wants to stay safe but arjuna i mean the, the the kauravas or duryodhan's army they don't allow him to do that they say they will protect jayadratha but finally they end up uh, arjuna gets an opportunity to fight with jayadratha and krishna at that time krishna knows everything so krishna using his intelligence he reminds arjuna he is reminded of something and he understands that jayadratha was given a special um, benediction a special boon by lord shiva that you will be able to uh, you know you you won't be able to kill the pandavas but you will be able to stop them so that was the first boon and the second boon was that whoever you know cuts off your head and throws it on the ground their head will be shattered into pieces so uh, krishna tells arjuna see no matter what you do make sure that you shoot his head to his father's lap so that when his father it falls on his father's lap what happens father will immediately wake up get up because the father is 
meditating. He was in penance, okay? So like this, Arjuna, what does he do? Arjuna follows Krishna's instructions. Arjuna fights with Jayadrata. And at the right moment, Arjuna uses his arrow to shoot Jayadrata's head straight to where his father was in penance or, you know, meditating. And so once it fell on his father's lap, he was shook, shaken. He didn't know what fell. Something fell on his lap. So immediately his reaction was to stand up. And the moment he stood up, what happened? Huh? Jayadrata's head fell down on the ground. And because of that, his father died. His head got shattered in seven pieces. So that is how Krishna always was so intelligent. He was always, he's, he loves his devotees so much. He constantly takes care of his devotees. Okay, now let me see. I have three more pages and it's past six o'clock. Okay, you all know another, this is another pastime from Mahabharat. Okay, so during the war, Duryodhana was upset that Bhishma, they are grand. Okay, who is Bhishma Dev? Anybody? Okay, Giridhari knows the answer. Raghav knows. Okay, Raghav wants to say, go ahead. Pandavas and Kauravas. Very good. Whose side was uh, Bhishma Dev on in the war? Somebody else can answer. Kauravas. Bhima. Um, um, <laughs> Yes, Kauravas. So Duryodhana was angry that Bhishma is being very, very gentle with the Pandavas. And he knew that Bhishma has got the special affection for them. So he didn't want uh, Bhishma to feel that way anymore. So he instigated Bhishma Dev. He kind of um, instilled some anger in Bhishma Dev. Okay. And Bhishma Dev said, see, tomorrow I will use, I have five special arrows. I will use those special arrows and I'm going to kill the Pandavas. So Duryodhana was like, very good. Use those special arrows. Okay, that is what we can do. And But Duryodhana was still not sure. So he said, you give me those five arrows. I will keep it very safe with me. I'm not sure whether you'll use them tomorrow. Or you'll bring them tomorrow. What will happen tomorrow? You might change your mind. Because you never want the Pandavas to be hurt. Okay. So when Krishna, because he's the Paramatma in each and every one of us, Krishna came to know that Duryodhana is planning this. So what did Krishna do? Krishna told Arjuna, see Arjuna, you are the one who saved Duryodhana from the Gandharvas at one time. So you go, that time Duryodhana had said that he will uh, he will um, accept any, I mean, he will give Arjuna one boon. Okay. So he said, now it's a good time to ask him to fulfill that promise. Okay. So uh, Duryodhana, uh, Arjuna goes to Duryodhana and says, see, now I would like to uh, ask you for five of these special arrows. So can you give me those special arrows? And Duryodhana gave. Now, after he gave, he had to go and tell Bhishma Dev what he did. And Bhishma said, no worries. I will chant very nice mantras. I'll chant very strong, powerful prayers. Tomorrow you ask your wife to come and see, uh, and see me. I will bless her that you will have a very long life. All the Kauravas will live very long. Okay. Now, Krishna came to know about this also. So, early in the morning, he told Draupati, he woke Draupati and he told her, you go and go to Bhishma Dev, cover your face and you ask blessings from him, take his blessings. So Bhishma Dev, when he saw Draupati, okay, so what happened is Draupati left her shoes outside Bhishma Dev's tent. And when she left her slippers outside, what did Krishna do? Krishna took those slippers and in his hand, so that Bhishma Dev doesn't even realize that those slippers don't belong to Duryodhana's wife. See how much love he has. He's taken somebody's shoes also. So what did Bhishma Dev do? Bhishma Dev thought, oh, okay, this is Duryodhana's wife. She's come for bened the benediction. So he blesses her. 
that let your husband be saved let you have let all the pandavas have, all of them have a very long life and then after he blessed draupadi looked up at him she showed him her face and that time bishma devi realized oh no what did i do but was only because of krishna that all his devotees were so much under his protection okay so when we surrender to krishna when we always think that krishna is going to protect us he definitely will take care of us okay so are you all very intelligent kids i know you are all very smart you are very intelligent hmm and that is why you are in this moment our intelligence is also given to us by whom who is krishna 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 yes okay we are all very grateful to krishna for giving us intelligence smart yes for making us so smart and giving us intelligence thank you so much uh now her grace anjana gopika mata ji will take over for the song bhajan hari krishna mata ji hari krishna hari krishna mata ji hari krishna mata ji this is parvati oh today we have a new student he's going to teach us hari bol you all can uh, repeat after me okay ಗೋಪಿ <laughs> ಸುವಾ 
गोविंद माधव नवनी तास्कर सुंदर नंद गोपाल सुंदर नंद गोपाल नंद गोपाल यमुना तट सर गोपी बसन गोपी बसन रसा रसी का कृपा मोया बृंदवन नटवर भक्ति विनोद आश्रय ओके मे बी वी हैव थ्री मिनिट यू ऑल कैन सिंग टुगेदर अ होल सॉन्ग कैन यू सिंग गो हेन यशो थैंक यू एवरी वन डिट वेरी नाइस मैसेज प्लीज टेक ओवर दल मैसेज हरे कृष्णा वांशा कल्पत रूप्य हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा ओके सो नाउ वी विल हैव आर गोविंदा किड्स क्लास ओके सो इफ यू ऑल वांट टू जॉइन गोविंदा किड्स क्लास प्लीज स्टे इट्स टाइम टू लीव ओके हरे कृष्णा